Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. This time we're taking a look at a Marvel Legends figure, which I have not gotten one of these in a long time. Um, it's Agent Venom from the Spider-Man series, uh, Marvel's Legends Infinite series. So yes, I found this guy at um, a local Walgreens on the south side of Indianapolis. I just happened to you know, think about it. I'm like, oh, I wonder if they've got this figure because this is actually a Walgreens exclusive figure. You can only get this at Walgreens. And uh, the one here in Greenwood did not have any. And I didn't even really know about this figure until I watched the review uh, from Realistic, from Realistic Videos, Mandy. Uh, she found one in Hollywood and they actually had it in the back. She had them uh, get it out of the back, uh, which was kind of funny. But uh, the Walgreens here in Indianapolis had a ton of them, which was really, really cool. I actually picked up one. I'm going to do a Halloween contest uh, in the month of October, so I picked one up to uh, give away in that contest as well as one to review. And I may pick another one up just to keep in package because it's really, really nice looking. Um, this is an interesting version of Venom. Of course, I am an original Venom Fan. Um, I was there when the character first came around. Eddie Brock is always going to be Venom to me. Uh, but this is my second favorite, and I really do like it. I mean, he's got kind of a Spider-Man noir look going for him. And it's actually Flash Thompson, Eugene Thompson, the bully Peter Parker had in high school. Um, he joins the military, and he ends up getting injured, and they bond him with the Venom symbiote uh, and try to make a super soldier out of him. Uh, which doesn't quite go so well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is really cool. It's kind of part of the build uh, figure series uh, for Green Goblin of all the different Spider-Mans, uh, but it doesn't actually come with a part because it's not actually part of that set. Um, just a really cool figure. We'll take a look at the packaging, get the guy out, and see what we think. So, um, yeah, let's take a look here. So here's the top. We've got Marvel Spider-Man looking really cool. We've got Spider-Man logo here. I love the dot matrix um, work at the top. I think that looks really nice. There we have Venom in package. Kind of look down here with the Marvel's Legends Infinite Series Agent Venom. Just really nice artwork. And again, I love the dot matrix. It looks really, really cool. And of course, this is made by... Hasbro. Um, side of the package has this kind of nice curved effect. Um, when you look at it, we got a picture of Spider-Man. Uh, it looks like he's from the movie. Um, and we got Spider-Man on that side as well. Uh, back, well, let's see, first, the bottom of the package really has nothing. So here's the back of the package. Here's kind of a wide shot um, of the back of the package. We got this really nice kind of um, glossy uh, finish on Venom there on a matte black background which looks really really nice we've got the Legends logo there Spider-Man there there is his bio if you want to pause and read that you are welcome to um, the build a figure uh, collection dun, dun, dun. and then it's got a little note here that says um, this is not part of the build a figure collection there is no Green Goblin part in here Warning. Uh, so we've got these other figures right here where you can build uh, Green Goblin there. And um, I really, really, really want um, Carnage. I have not been able to find the Carnage figure anywhere. Either of those symbiotes I have not been able to find. I've seen every other figure but that. Uh, and that's really the only one I want out of the set aside from this Venom. Um, I'm going to have to get him to go with this Venom figure. The Spider-Man's okay, but I mean this Carnage figure just looks smoking cool. Um, so yeah, he'll be really nice to go with this Venom uh, sitting up on the shelf. So let's get him out of package and see what we think. All right, here's Venom out of package. And this guy is sculpted so well. I love this figure. Um, it has, however, a huge drawback. Um, Posability. This figure is quite awful in posability. To get this thing to stand proper, you have to have these feet exactly right. 
in order to get him to stand. Otherwise, he'll just fall right over. And you really kind of have to look at the back of the box uh, to figure that out. Like, this leg has to go completely straight, and then that foot has to kind of spin in a little bit, and uh, this foot has to kind of go straight. And... Yeah, it just, it's really, really badly posed. Um, there is hardly any ankle articulation in it. Um, the knees bend, the hips are kind of eh. The arms work pretty well, I will, I will say that, although the upper arms do have some issues with the shoulder pads. Now, that being said, this is a figure that you're going to pose and you're going to sit and let it sit there. Um, it really could use a base. There are plugs in the bottom of the feet uh, for a base, so if you've got an action figure base, this thing definitely needs one to get it to set right. You just need to get one, a black one, to go with it, I suppose. Now, he does come with some accessories. Just to kind of look at those real quick, here is his tentacles. Arr, arr, arr. Um, these are really, really cool. Now, they're supposed to go this way, and they plug on a port on his back. Um, but the issue I found with that, the smaller tentacles at the bottom, they really kind of get hidden by the arms. Um, I think it actually looks better this way, um, because the larger ones swing out past his arms, and then these come up around his shoulders, um, and it looks pretty good. I'll show you what, what they both look like. Kind of looks like a weird black flower piece there. Um, and the other cool thing about the hands, they've got little, little grippies. See the little grippies? And they can hold guns, which is pretty awesome. They got these little gnarly, nuggly little thingies coming out, which is really cool. I definitely dig that. And then he comes with a bunch of weapons. Uh, here's a little black gun that has a laser scope painted on, which was really cool. And unfortunately, the remaining three guns are all just silver plastic. We get this nice kind of oozy looking gun. Really nice uh, detail as far as sculpt goes. Um, it's just silver plastic, which is kind of unfortunate. And then you get two of these little handguns. Uh, again, really well sculpted. Um, they're just, well, silver plastic, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, yeah, so let's look at the figure himself and take a look at the detail on him. Uh, he is really really well done I like this guy he's got really good articulation in his head I will say that um, looks nice his eyes kind of have this goggle look on them which is really cool he's got these kind of insectial shell kind of shoulder pads double shoulder pads uh, that do kind of move uh, they're just kind of stuck into the side there um, his arms do move uh, we got decent elbow joints, and then it also swivels. And again, we get this nice kind of exoskeleton thing going on there. And then I love the web slingers right there looking really, really cool. Um, now, if you notice the spider, and the spider is painted really well, um, but it looks kind of choppy, and there's, it's just got kind of this um, armor slash bug kind of thing going on. And... It's supposed to look kind of splotchy when it's painted on there, because that's the way it looks in the comics. Uh, he's got this uh, belt with all this cool gear on it. Just really, really great detail. Uh, got a little cantina, all the little pouches. Um, he's got a little knife back there, some grenades. Lots of cool stuff. It's all in black uh, plastic, which is kind of unfortunate. He also has another gun there, which is painted, um, but it's just a light rubber gun that doesn't come out it's just for show and i wish the other pistols had the black stock on it as well that would have been really really cool and of course the paint apps kind of go down on his back of his leg uh, which is really nice and he's got these really cool boots again back to the insect shell like thing down into the leather boot um and he's even got the little ridges on the boots very cool stuff um here's the back of the figure with the spider again, there's the port that the tentacles uh, will go into. Uh, very cool, very nice. Love the sculpt. Um, the biggest thing is, of course, he just he needs a stand. He really does. So let's get him all geared up uh, with the tentacles and see what he th see what he looks like. All right. So here we have Venom with his tentacles and his guns. And 
wow, this looks really, really sharp. I do like this. And for some reason, I don't know why, this might be the design. It actually balances better with the tentacles on his back than without them. He just wants to fall over. It's like it's, like it's giving it a counterbalance. Uh, which is kind of interesting, but I still recommend getting a figure stand for it, uh, at, for sure. So if you look, um, it does have on the package the larger tentacle kind of goes up, but those see how the one it kind of gets hidden. Whereas if we look at it here, we can see all the tentacles really, really well. So I really like it in this format. You can put it either way that you want. Uh, also kudos for the makers of the box because um, there is no tape anywhere on the box. You just unfold it. You can slide the figure out. Uh, there's no ties or anything. You just pull him out of his case. You can slide it back in and preserve the box 100% and that is very appreciative. Um, I really do like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean he looks really cool with all of his little tentacles. Just looks gnarly. Um, again, I'm a huge Eddie Brock fan, uh, but this is definitely a cool Venom, um, especially if you're a fan of the symbiotes. Uh, you're really going to like this guy. And yeah, I mean, for some reason, it stands so much better uh, with the tentacles on there. So I'm not, I'm not going to complain much, but I would say that's probably one of the biggest drawbacks to this figure is it's standing. The lower legs posability is kind of an issue. Um, and then I think really the guns, the lack of paint on the guns. Um, and I would really have preferred if they put more holsters and maybe made this holster empty so that you can put the pistols in there. Um, so if they would have done more paint apps on the pistols and given them places to put the pistols in, it would have been a lot cooler, but I'm happy with what I got. So there he is, Agent Venom, the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Infinite Series figure. Pick him up. He's 20 bucks. He's the same cost as the other figures. Check your local Walgreens. Uh, definitely cool stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. And as always, look for more videos in the future.